let's talk pure culture. You are going to obtain a mixed culture of liquid bacteria. That would be this. Then you are going to obtain a plate of nutrient auger. Now this is nutrient auger I made on January 23rd. You can see the date right there. Whenever you make plates, you always date them so that you know exactly how old they are and when they were made. This is parafilm, okay? I always seal the plates, like I said, so they can't dry out. We have our nutrient auger plate, which I mentioned before has a date on it. And in the lecture, I said that you can do north, south, east, and west for the numbers, or you can actually do five points like what we saw in the um, in the plate that was the example in the lecture. I'll put one, two, <sighs> because these just came out of the refrigerator, the bottom of the plate is wet, which means that the Sharpie doesn't like sticking to it because Sharpies don't like water. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. And another thing that you always do with the plates that you're making, you always put your initials, Ronica Williams. Now, one of the things that I know I have to have with this is my Bunsen burner, because every time that I start swiping, I'm going to have to heat and sterilize my inoculation loop. So, let me see. There's my flame. All right, so here's my inoculation loop. There's the flame. Now, this is liquid media. It has a whole bunch of bacteria all mixed in. So again, I want to make sure that I separate all of those bacteria from each other. I've got my sterilized inoculating loop that I just put through the flame. I've got my sample of mixed bacteria. And in the first video, when Mr. Secord talks about getting bacteria to put onto a slide, he talks about the fact that this lid, if it's a liquid culture like what we have here, can't touch the lab bench. So hold it with your pinky, unscrew the lid. He also mentions the contamination that can be at the top here. So we put it through the fire. We take our loop, we put it in our sample. Now we have bacteria on our loop. This still has to go through the fire again, just in case. We close it. Notice the lid never touched the table. When you look at this and flip it where the auger is, that's where the auger is, you're going to look for number one. There's number one, and you're going to tap your bacteria right at number one. Just put it right there. Turn that back over, flame your loop. Because I went into the liquid, you actually really need to kind of go all the way up this thing to make sure that you're killing any bacteria that might be on it. This is now sterile. You're gonna go from number one here to number two, and you're gonna drag one, two, three, four, five. Now, where is number two? Number two is here, number three is here. I'm gonna turn it over. Go from number two to number three. We're thinning the herd, we're thinning the herd. Where's number three? Number three is right here, number four is right here. 
we're going to go from if you do go back in from three to four with your loop too hot you're actually going to fry those bacteria they're all going to die and it's going to be useless There's number four, there's number five. Number four is right here, okay? And number five is right here. So number four, number five. So I'm going to go from four to five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to flame and cool this. Since it's the last one, I want to make sure I flame the holy tar out of it. Now that I'm done, I mentioned before you put it in the incubator, you put parafilm. Now, I'm done with my loop, right? So I can turn this off now. This is parafilm. It's got a paper backing. You kind of pull the corner. And you can peel the paper off. So you've got this kind of rubbery plastic. Put your thumb down on it. Make sure that it's covering the connection between the top and the bottom. And you're going to seal the plate. See how it's sealed now? This is actually making sure that there is no airflow, basically meaning that I'm not going to put this in the incubator at 98.6 degrees and it's going to cause my auger to basically dry out. I don't want that to happen. So by sealing it with the parafilm here, I'm actually kind of making sure that it keeps the moisture inside. Again, when you put this in, the auger is always, face, is always up. It's always at the ceiling. The lid that doesn't have any auger on it is always toward the floor because this is relatively cool compared to 98.6 degrees. In the lab, it's probably 72 degrees. I need to make sure that I don't do this because then the moisture and heat will pool as condensation up on this lid. So we're going to keep it this way and we're going to put it in the incubator. Let it incubate for 24 to 46 hours, and hopefully in that path from number four to number five, I will get some individual colonies. Because this takes time, because it actually does require incubation,